What's going on? It's DC Capital with CNC Culture. Let's get right into it. Today's subject matter is about alinity. Alina titty, boobs, breasts, chestesses. What's the subject matter today? Exposure. Alinity exposed. Someone who does just chats and plays video games on Twitch. The new internet celebrities, the new internet Hollywood elite types, the glitz and the glam. Alinity has shown her true self. And I mean her true self. Let's go ahead and play the clip right now for you. Whoop pow. Now you might have seen that clip and you might ask DC Capital, what's quite wrong with that? Let me explain. Twitch is a platform where many minors watch and also many people get banned. They hit that ban hammer like Thor or Pam and they have all sorts of people get banned for ridiculous things. I believe men have been banned for showing their nipples. Has Alenity been banned? No. Okay, so she actually got suspended. When I recorded the video, she wasn't suspended yet. But this video is still relevant. You should watch it. She needs to get banned. Amazon, Twitch, you need to ban her. I heard that like someone had drew an, an animated boob and you banned them for that. Ban this girl. I'm not trying to censor her, but kids watch this. That's pornography. Watch the video, it's still relevant. And what all the outrage is really about is in the past, Alinity has come in conflict with the animal rights people. She's thrown her cats clear across the room talking about wow. And to make it even worse, in some sort of weird dystopian American Pie feminism movie, you have Alinity having her dog lick her cooter on stream. Excuse my French, I don't know how else to put it. The dog was licking the kitty cat. Not good. It's not dog food. Bad Alinity. Not good. And to add insult to injury, she went on to Twitter today, just right before filming this video, talking about it's not my fault. How is it not your fault? You expose children to nips. That is your fault. She's saying, how is Twitch's inconsistencies my fault? You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a three day ban. We can't have things like this on this platform. Alinity, you should be banned permanently. That's what most people believe. That's what Twitch's rules are. To give yourself a three day ban is like Janet Jackson going up after the Super Bowl moment and saying, you know what, what I did was bad. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna avoid interviews and exposing myself out to the public, exposing for three days. No Alinity, no more slaps on the wrist. We're gonna throw you like you threw the cat right out of here. It's to the point where I can't even show my viewers the clip with the dog. Cause honestly, it's below the dignity of my channel. And at the end of the day, honestly, this is only gonna make her more famous. It's only gonna drive more viewership to her channel. More people are interested. It's in the headlines. It's making the New York Times, the New York Post. Not really. But in general, more people are now interested in Alinity. More people are gonna watch. She's gonna make more money. And you know what? Twitch is gonna make more money too. Twitch loves that Twitch thought revenue. That's all them on those ads. They love it. They eat it up. Jeff Bezos like, ah, give me Alinity. Ah, Jeff Bezos. Ah. It's quite simple. If you have an issue with Twitch, not banning Alinity, go to a competitor. That's the beauty in the free market. Go to Mixer. They don't take any of that kind of BS. You'll see no nippy slippies on Mixer. Some people want to see the nippy slippies. I get that. But if you're going to see the nippy slippies, be 18. Alinity's viewers aren't 18. Let's be honest. Anyways, this is DC Capital. Hope you guys enjoyed CNC Culture today. Catch you next time. Have a good one. Stay beautiful, America.